Good morning, welcome to our full day of eating. Mommy and me, I'm having coffee. And just like every other vlog for the history of the Bromwells, I have had two tablespoons of creamer in my coffee. Um, comment below your favorite flavor because I'm stuck on coconut cream. Letty's having yogurt, it's like 7.30 right now. Letty's having yogurt, watermelon, and then I just microwaved her like a, it's like a Kodiak protein waffle. So I'm gonna cut this up, put butter on it and syrup. And that's her breakfast. Hopefully she eats it. I'm gonna serve the watermelon with a toothpick because that's fun. And they always eat Mom, with no, toothpicks. Put it back in there. Oh, you wanna get it out? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mom, I got this one. You know, Letty will beg to eat candy and snacks um, first thing in the morning. So I really try, I try. Um, if she wants a snack, then I'm like, okay, let's put it on your plate. Because I used to just let her have a snack. She used to wake up at 5.30 a.m. though. And let's be real, at that point, like I, and she would wake up like five times a night. So I was always super tired. I would like put her in front of the TV and just give her a snack and I would just sit there and try to wake up, eat, drink my coffee. Um, but we don't do that anymore. We're, we're better guys. I don't know if that's better, but if you're in that stage of life, it's okay. And it, it will better. change and it will get better. I'm not better. You are a little bit better at sleeping at night. As far as foods go in the morning, I try to just switch it up every day. She doesn't really eat eggs. Um, she, yeah, so protein wise, I shoot for like yogurt or like a dairy product, but I always, always, always feed her something with protein in it. So I have like quite a bit of food sensitivities. Um, one of them being, I just realized that I can't eat um, like eggs that are not baked at a, like a high temperature for a long period of time. So I can eat baked goods with eggs, not like scrambled eggs or anything. So I don't eat those and therefore Letty doesn't eat them a lot either. She doesn't like them. I haven't really seen that she's had food sensitivities though. So that's good. Letty's got spring pictures today. I almost forgot actually. I Her teacher texted me and said like, don't forget there's spring pictures. Otherwise I like wouldn't. I mean, I would have done her hair and she would have looked cute, but she wouldn't have looked like cute for spring pictures, you know? So we're gonna get her hair right. We're gonna get your hair right. Thankfully right now we have plenty of time in the morning to, you know, make breakfast, get ready. Um, so some days, you know, we prep a lot, but I guess if she were to wake up late or if you're in a hurry, um, some good things to make might be like overnight oats just like prep that in your fridge you could do like homemade or you could do you know there's like store-bought ones right now or i have done in the past like pancakes and just made a bunch of them like protein pancakes pe science has a really great mix that you just add water to and we eat that all the time so you could do little waffles or pancakes you could do a smoothie really quick i don't know a smoothies i feel like they're like great for nutrition but like i feel like they don't really like fill them up so i think i'd love to hear what y'all are making for your kid. Can you just doing this backwards? Today is a school day. So we got her lunchbox. I'm gonna um, link this lunchbox below because we've had it for now two years or more. It's the best, it's so good. Um, the only thing is like- We have to warn you have about to this. Pull this up and clean it. This strip that goes inside here, you need to pull it out and then clean it and let it dry. We actually didn't do that and then mold grew in there and then we had to clean the mold off and now everything. It's just, it's now it's just there. stained. <laughs> yeah, we even like soaked it in all kinds of stuff. So it just, we couldn't get the stain off. But something to know when you're washing it, pull that gasket out and let it dry. I got really sick of making her like these elaborate lunches that she would never really eat, like hot lunches. So this thing has like a little thermos right here and I would put like leftovers in it and she would just never eat it. So I'm like, all right, I'll feed her breakfast and dinner, wholesome foods, which this is still wholesome, but yeah, it's just like more like snacky. Um, at school, she gets like goldfish and like snacks, you know, carby snacks. So I try to really focus on protein or fruit. So sometimes I'll do fresh fruit. I have a jerky stick in here. I have, for whatever reason, she eats shredded cheese, but not like cheese sticks. So we got that in there. We did a Z bar with protein, which sometimes she eats, sometimes she doesn't. And then we have Paw Patrol, um, like organic fruit pouch. She'll probably eat all of that. And then water. 
And that's it. I typically find that I just eat the rest of her food. <coughs> and that's my pre-workout. Because I don't like to waste food. Leftover waffle. Can we get some shoes? All right. I'm having one of her protein bars. Mommy, I have one. But you have one in your lunchbox. And I'm going to bring my water, which I probably have to fill. Yeah, it's pretty full. Cool. Pre-workout. You want to bite of this? Okay, see you later. See you later. It is 10.52. I just got home from the gym a little bit later. I'm making a meal before my meetings start for today. So I use, this is like a common quick meal that I eat. Kodiak protein oatmeal, which has 12 grams of protein. I also use probably like a half a cup of this. So that's maybe like 12 grams of protein. Um, and I like microwave the oatmeal with water, then I put in yogurt, then I do a half a scoop of PE Science protein. I always just use a cake pop because it's sweet and it just like has a good like neutral vanilla flavor. So that's probably like 12 extra grams. So Brad, help me out here. What's the math on that? 24 plus another 12. Okay, 36. You guys have 36 grams of protein. I have to add a little bit more water. Just to make it like more, like have more texture, I put frozen pomegranate seeds on top. If you find that your pomegranate seeds get moldy in the fridge, like quickly, just put everything in the freezer. Pro tip. Voila, ready. PU Science has launched energy drinks and this box contains an exclusive set of Versa Energy from the first batch ever produced. They release on April 8th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Eastern. Yeah. So we have white cherry slushy, mandarin orange mango, and black raspberry. Ooh la la. I kind of feel like mandarin orange is going to be my favorite. Yeah, me too. We'll see. I have All a right. feeling you're going to take it from me. Pop it open. White cherry slushy. Mmm, that smells good. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Yeah. I would give that like right away right now, maybe like an eight out of 10. Tastes like a bomb pop. We got I mandarin like orange mango. Oh, this smells good. I know, it's gonna be my favorite one. <laughs> Gotta get the double dipper in there. I might need to try that one again. I feel like I need to cleanse my pot. I still had some like white cherry slush in there. Oh, that's good. I like that. I like it. I'm like, it's less flavorful than yeah, the white cherry slush, but it's really good. Black raspberry. Mmm, that one smells good. That one is like not as sweet as the other two. So if you're like less of a sweet drinker, you'll probably really like that one. Very this one, refreshing. This one tastes more like a carbonated flavored water. Right, but it's still sweet. Like yeah. it's not a flavored well, water vibes. It, those peach waters we drink are sweet. Right, it's not as sweet as the Walmart flavored waters. But okay, my favorite is white cherry slushy. It's basically the order that we went in. White cherry slushy, mandarin orange, then black raspberry. Yeah, I think I would agree to that. That's because we're married. And now we think the same. It is 1.40. I'm eating a little snack. I got a light cheese stick, a turkey stick, and then a pure protein mm -hmm. bar. You wanna wash your hands with ah! 30. We just got home and we washed our hands. We're ready to eat a snack and watch tv and watch tv i thought we we're gonna go to the park really quick no we're going to watch tv <laughs> first we're going we to need some park. relaxing time okay well let's go pick a snack and mommy needs to eat too ready let's go there there's this or this or this or this they're cheese this one yeah oh this one this one this one this one, this one. Okay. Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's do it! Just like this morning when we used a toothpick to eat, this is another way. I mean, she wants to eat this regardless, but like if you're trying to incorporate fruit or something like highly desirable and not so desirable, like put it in a snack spinner and they'll just eat it up. I'm making Letty a drink. This is stir, so S-T-U-R. It's kind of like a more natural option to flavor their water. So she drinks regular water at school, but at home she really likes flavored water. And I'm also gonna put probiotics in it just because. Be good. Right there, mom's gonna make her food. 
and eat a little bit of snack too. So I have prepped ground beef and then chickpea pasta. So this is technically like lunch. I feel like if I don't have this right now, I'm just gonna like snack, 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 snack until dinner and that's not a good choice. So we're gonna get some protein in, fiber in and feel a lot better about our life. One thing I suggest about meal prep, this is like my only meal prepped area of life, lunches. Um, but if you're struggling, like pick your struggle meal, that's what I call it, pick your struggle meal, whether that's you struggle to get breakfast in, you struggle to snack healthy, you struggle to get protein in your dinner, pick one struggle meal of the day and pre-prep that. So mine is lunch, I'll work right through it, and then of course like snack, 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 which is nothing wrong with that if your snacks are like, protein rich and healthy, but mine are typically not. Lunch is my struggle meal. That's what I prepped this week. What's going on back there? The life of a mom. Comment below your struggle meal. So I'm not tracking macros like today, but I could probably add this up for you and at the end of the night, I'll just put it on the screen. But if you are tracking macros, Please remember that, uh -oh. hold on, okay, come here. Oh no, it's okay, we could just take this one off. Just remember that there's really no point in tracking macros if you're not actually going to track. There's no point in tracking macros if you're not actually going to like do a good job of being consistent in tracking them. So let's say you accidentally forgot to eat lunch, I don't know in what world that would happen. I mean, it does happen to me occasionally, but I know I rarely forget to eat actually. So by the end of the night, you know, you have a lot of macros left to hit. If, you know, if that's the case like day after day, then resituate, assess where you can be a little bit better because again, there's no point in tracking if you're gonna end up at the end of the day with a lot to fill and you're not filling that with food. Um, so try not to skip meals, of course, and then try to recover from skipping meals. So that would be like my best suggestion is try to recover from that um, and at the end of the day, you did your best. And then the next day, just get back on the train, start over and try to hit your macros a little bit better. It's 6.15 and I just finished our dinner, but I'm putting in, Letty. You finished our dinner? Brad and I cooked dinner together. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but I'm using these chicken nuggets for Letty. I just put them in the air fryer, cottage cheese and grapes for her. And then over here is our dinner. We made a home chef creamy beef bolognese stuffed peppers. We've had this one before, it's really good. You could totally make that at home too as a healthy meal prep. Here's Letty's little plate of grapes and cottage cheese. Put some chicken nuggies on there and eat dinner as a family. They're right here. <coughs> Are you gonna say prayer? Yep. Okay. Thank you for all my blessings and thank you. Amen. 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 That was a good one. Letty doesn't always eat like something different than us, but it just depends on the night. Like tonight, I could have put a lot of this like pasta sauce on top of some noodles because I already have noodles made, but she already had spaghetti the other night and she kind of said she didn't want it. So I was like, all right, that's fine. But sometimes I just go off of like what she'll actually eat. You gotta do one at a time. Mate. One at a time? You can't do a big pizza back. You gotta do a little bit. Is this a big piece? Yeah. Daddy takes big bites though. What was your favorite thing you did today? Did you tell Daddy that you got hurt? I got hurt. My new friend hit me. Oh, your new friend hit you? Yeah. Maria gave me an iPad to me and I sit right here. Who hit you? Um, I don't know his name. It is 7.45. Ooh, we went on a walk. No, we're not doing that. That's a hard candy, baby. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's empty. Not. That's empty. There's nothing That's in empty. there. So. Letty, why do you have mittens on your hands? She has eczema. So I want just lotion. this. <laughs> no, not that whole thing, baby. You can't eat that whole thing. We're letting her pick a sweet treat because she yeah. was a good girl. Do you want one of these? You want that one? Okay. It's have it's have polka dots on it. Okay. Ooh. Mm. You like it? Daddy, don't try this. You want to try this one? Oh gosh. Mm. <laughs> she conned you. 
You got two? I thought she was going to take a bite and she just put the whole thing in her mouth. <laughs> it is about 8.30 and I'm night capping with water. I'm going to finish out my water. I'm going to finish Letty's orange soda that she drank a little bit of for dinner. This is like my sweet treat event every night. Um, sometimes I'll add in like some protein chips or popcorn, something like salty, but usually it's sweet treat. So even like when I'm tracking macros or like right now, Brad and I are trying to be in a deficit leading up to like a trip that we have at the end of the month. Um, so, you know, we're getting a lot more activity in and then trying to like, you know, reduce our food intake. So like some days I'll track macros today. I'm just like, not really, but I will put the macros up right here for you after I calculate them. So as far as like sweet treats, even when I'm tracking, I have sweet treats. Um, I'm gonna have a Reese's egg out of Letty's Easter basket. I am obsessed with the like brown, I think it's like the Cosmic Brownie Hershey's Kisses. They're so good. And then I'm gonna have some sweetheart jelly beans and that's it. So, Thanks for watching. I actually am curious about Letty's macros, so I'm gonna put them right here. It'll be fun to calculate. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you like this style of video and I'll post just some more. You're worth it.